guys, how's it going and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you pretty much everything which you can expect to get for free in Season 4, including the new Seasonal Camo, new Rank Rewards, new Championship Rewards, some secret items and a lot more. So guys, definitely make sure to watch the full video, and with that being said, here we go. Okay, so first things first, let's start off with the new seasonal camo. So this thing is known as Golden Opportunity and there's nothing gold about it. It's definitely bronze and it's definitely mediocre. Not a big fan if I am going to be honest and you guys can see over here how it does look on some mythic weapons. Do you like it or not so much? Let me know down below. Over here we do have a look at the brand new clan store outfit which is going to be for Ronin in the sort of turquoise blue color and it seems to be designed off after an ancient like building in the jungle or something like that but yeah to be honest it's nothing too special. Anyways though up next we do have the new rank rewards which are definitely controversial according to many people out there so our character is going to be a reskin of General Shepard known as General's Command. Now personally I really actually like this skin I think it does look pretty cool I mean everyone has been asking for military skins and now we have one and people are complaining. In my opinion he looks good and I'm happy with it. Now for the gun we do have a tundra skin known as a mortal stone. Now this one I'm kinda iffy on, I don't love it but I also don't hate it, I think it is okay. It looks pretty decent but we have definitely had much better in the past. The last couple of seasons have been really good and this one is, it's okay, it's an okay looking skin, nothing too special. And then we also do have this katana skin over here, uh, known as Rusted Riches as well. So overall, the rank rewards in my opinion are pretty good, but what do you think? Let me know down below. You might like them, or you might really dislike them. Next up though, we have a new secret special battle pass achievement reward. If you purchased any 6 of the battle passes from 2021, then you are going to receive this legendary cooling card over here with some skins from that year. So yeah, nothing too crazy, but it's a nice to have if you purchased those a few years ago. So yeah, not bad. Up next though, we can earn multiple free character skins in season four, including the following. So we have this very eh, looking rain skin known as Canopy, uh, not a big fan whatsoever, definitely a skip in my opinion. Then we do have a reskin of Zayna known as Battle Tradition, actually a pretty okay decent looking reskin, uh, not too bad in my opinion. Then we do have a reskin of Battery as well in like this gold bronze sort of color. I mean it's not bad but we have so many battery skins already so it's kind of just like whatever in my opinion. Next up though we can earn a special sentry gun skin through seasonal challenges in season 4 and this is what they had to say, earn an alternate skin for the sentry gun score streak. What appears as a simple metal suitcase pops out to reveal the sentry gun within, featuring a gallon gun barrel and cosmetic side armor. So sounds pretty cool. And also also to note the whole event section has been reworked and updated for season 4. So yeah, that should be pretty cool. Next up, let's check out the new championship 2024 rewards and dates. Okay, so solo qualifiers start on the 18th of April up until May 8th. And this is what you can earn. Okay, so for signing up, you're gonna get the frame, lunchbox, the cooling card, crash code, and the epic ICR1 scoreboard. Now note, these scoreboard skins are kind of eh compared to previous years. Now for playing and earning 50 points, you are going to get the following rewards in the different phases. Okay, so for phase 1 we do have the RPD scoreboard, for phase 2 we do have the Locust scoreboard, for phase 3 we do have the Odin scoreboard, and for phase 4 we do have the by 15 scoreboard. Now for playing 10 matches, you are going to get the following. So 2 epic critic rates, 10 2 hour double XP cards, and we also have 500 credits. And then for playing 40 games, you are going to get Scarlet Rhodes Dark Leather. I mean, it's a pretty good looking skin and a version of her, but to be honest, we already have a skin very similar to this in the game. So it's kind of, again, 
like whatever. But again, it's a nice to have, but we definitely have had better in the championships. Now, if we qualify in stage one, stage two being the team qualification stage starts on May 11th up until the 25th of May, and this is what you can earn. So we do have a Lopa, again being that same scoreboard skin. We do have an M13 scoreboard and a Switchblade scoreboard as well. And then we do have a soap skin known as Dark Hornet. And essentially this is a reskin of the hazmat version of him, but if I am gonna be honest, I think this does actually look a lot better compared to the original. So this I actually really do like. And also do not forget if you do qualify in stage 2, you are gonna receive a CP a reward prize as well. Last year, this is how much you could earn depending on your placement. I'm not too sure about this year, it might be more or it might even be less or the same. So yeah, we are gonna have to wait and see, but if you do qualify and you rank high enough, you are gonna get a COD points prize as well, which is definitely neat. So okay guys, that is what we know so far about the championship. Definitely give me your thoughts down below on the rewards for this year. Where does it stack up compared to previous years? I would love to know your thoughts down below. Next up though, you can earn 10 of these Brute Beast crates through the high speed low drag events live in the game right now in Season 3. Now if you're lucky, in these crates you can get the following items, consisting of Minotaur, Gunger, we also have the very nice SPR 208 Long Serpent, and then we do have a bunch of Runic Fire skins as well. So yes, it requires luck, but you just never know, it's definitely worth logging in and hoping you actually do get lucky. So yeah, good luck. Anyways though, moving on to our final topic of the day, the CN version of the game is having a new collaboration with Path to Nowhere, which might also come to Garena, but yeah, I'm not too sure at this moment. This collab contains a legendary MAC-10 skin, an unknown item, an epic striker 45, a special sword skin, we also have an FFR1, an HDR, an M13, and a Grau 556 as well. Now some of these items are gonna be in a lucky draw, some might be in a crate, and some might be free. But at this moment, I am not too sure, so we are gonna have to wait and see. And again, this is confirmed for China, it might be coming to Garena, but yeah, do not expect this in global. But yeah, that's about it. So okay guys, that is a bunch of new content available in Season 4, some free stuff, a new collab, and a lot more. So guys, definitely give me your thoughts on the new season down below in the comment section. And with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. So, thank you for watching, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.